What's up Diva fam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously you can tell by the title down below we are doing a double unboxing because these boxes right here came super late in the month. Um, yeah. And here I am. So hopefully I'm trying to get this video up before the end of the month happens because they literally just got here and I need to open these. Obviously I've opened the top one, I bust open the seal on the bottom one. And I'm ready to see what we've got because I've seen these sneak peeks for BoxyCharm this month and it's supposed to be a real, real fucking good one. So I am too stoked. Also, this is the giveaway video. Again, this is for US only. Somehow on my last giveaway, I accidentally put in the description down below that it was also for international. That was my bad, but oh well, I'm shipping that off to this lovely girl in New Zealand. Um, this weekend once I get paid and then off the video off the, the box will go or the bag where, wherever which way where I'm shipping it it's gonna think it's gonna be in the ipsy bag because it'll make it easier just to for shipping um, but anyways I love you guys so much so let's just go ahead and get into this you know the gist if you like videos like this this video a big thumbs up remember to go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss a video with me your girl senior d and let's just go ahead and get into this Alright, so without further ado, we're going to jump into this video, but if this is your first time to my YouTube channel, hello, how are you? Welcome to the Diva Fam. You know you're going to want to be a part of it. So subscribe down below and also give this video a big thumbs up because it helps your girl out so, so much, but also that'll help you if you want to enter into the giveaway, which again, the giveaway will be at the end of the video, so you want to stay tuned to see what I got in these boxes, what in these boxes I, it's just not for me and that I'd rather give away for you guys or something I just have too much of that I don't need. Because if you guys don't know, and you can't see behind me, I've got these lovely Alexa drawers, plus this other one, two, three, four, five, six, six drawers over here. Um, and this is all filled. This drawer, though, is the nonsense drawer, because it's just full of, like, random stuff. Um, but every other drawer has makeup in it, so if your girl is, like, a makeup collector, connoisseur of sorts, and just a huge makeup lover um, in general. So, which is why I get these subscription boxes, because we are, you know, shopping on a dime, a bargain hunter, and this is a steal for a deal right here. So, if you guys want to subscribe to BoxyCharm, check out the link down below. It doesn't really give me anything like a, it's not an affiliate code, I think it's more just like a referral code to where, like, I get a little bit of a kickback, like, point-wise, but I've never even used the points. I reviewed them, and you can only use them in the, like charm room and not during like the 70% off which I think is bullshit but you know what it is what it is and I still have yet to use any of these points but I should but it really doesn't do much unless you really full heartedly keep going in and reviewing and reviewing and I think I like Ipsy's point system a little bit better but I don't know let me know in the comments down below if you guys have Ipsy do you have BoxyCharm which one do you like better anyways without further ado let's jump in this video we've got two boxes to review to figure out what I'm giving away to you Anyways, okay, so the first one's already open. Already unwinged it. Oops, there's my... Okay, the first box is already open. I've already unhinged it right here for us, and we're just going to pop this bad girl open. This is our Boxy Premium. I figured the other box is Boxy Lux because it's a lot heavier. Um, also, my makeup just looks very simple today. I just didn't feel like really going heavily. Plus, also, I think I'm going to film a different video after this one where I need to do the eye makeup and everything else. Plus, yeah, you know, things just happen. You know, when you try and film multiple videos at one time, you got to plan ahead. So, anyways, Boxy Premium. This is where you get six full-size products. I don't know the price of these boxes. The price of these boxes keep changing, you know, because we're in a recession and everyone's trying to catch up on money that they've lost. So, yep, six full-size items. You do always get a card in here, which I love. Ipsy, why can't you get that together? Why can't we get the card back? Can we get the card back? You're underneath the same umbrella in tier. Anyways, this literally tells you the prices, tells you the description, um, and what the item is that you actually received in this box. So, first off, right off the bat, we are infamous from LMS, but LMS is so good. It is so good for skincare. I've gone through a lot of their different products from LMS, so I'm always happy to see this in my box. Um, this is $36. It is Super Food Fruit Vinegar Liquid Glow. Used with glow getting AHAs derived from apple vinegar, apricots, peaches. The gentle exfoliate formulated uh, revels in radiance, da da, complexion. This refreshing toner removes every trace of visible pollution and helps minimize the appearance of pores. Girl, I need that, especially around my nose. I swear my pores are so big around my nose. It's ridiculous. But is it, isn't it, does that happen to everyone? Is that everyone or is that just me? Um, but natural probiotic helps support, maintain the skin's microbiome. 
Uh, wish list pickling pear, da da da, has antioxidants. Mild enough for twice day use, the Glow Boost Toner leaves the skin feeling balanced and looking radiant. Perfect, because I need a toner right now at the moment. I've actually gone through two toners. Right now I'm using the Murad like spray toner and then I use a cotton pad afterwards to kind of get it around. Um, sorry, my nose itches. Um, but yes, I am excited. This, this sounds like a really great product. Let's go ahead and open her up. Ooh, and it's one of the ones that you push down for the cotton pad. Yes, packaging for the win at the same time. Thank you so much, Elmas. You're so great. You're so great. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, going into the next one. We have the Patrick Ta Beauty. Yes, Patrick Ta again. Major Glow Lip Shine. Universal Flattering Lip Shine Lip Gloss with Cushion and Slip of a Lip Balm for Zero Stickiness and All Shine. This is $22. So opening this up, if I can, it says she's expensive. <laughs> well, you know when you're bougie, you have to be expensive. So there is that. There is this lip gloss. It looks really, really pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oh, and it smells good too. How does it feel? Feels a little bit sticky on my hand. Yeah, a little bit sticky, but it'll probably feel different on the lips. But it still has a really pretty shine. It's just a clear lip gloss with a little bit of shimmer in it. But I'm still excited to try that out. Um, always throw away the packaging. Once I know that I've swatched it, I always remind myself to throw away the packaging. Because if I don't and I put it back in, I think I didn't use it or open it. So, there is that. Next, we've got... That's $20, FYI. Next, we've got the NARS Iconic Lipstick. This is $26. It is in the matte... Um, shade range and it is Shanghai Express so it's supposed to be like a burgundy red shade I don't really have that many NARS products and the ones I normally have have always been giving away because I have a few but the ones I don't like I give away but A plus the packaging this looks beautiful especially going into fall so what <sighs> okay we're good we're good on that one keeping that bad boy Okay, great. Love that. All right, next, we got One Size Y'all by Patrick Starr. This is $19. This is the micro-defining um, pencil, and it is in the shade. They got my shade right. They got my shade right. This is in Black Brown 07. Yes. Um, I've been needing a new brow pencil anyways because the one that I've been using by Joa Beauty is almost gone. And so is the other one that I've been using. I don't know if it's like e.l.f. or if it's NYX. Um, but that one's almost gone too. So your girl's definitely going to try this out actually. Um, because I did fill in my brows but I only use the NYX um, Thicket. And that's kind of like how I was feeling. So we're going to go ahead and actually apply this onto our brows right now. Um, and see if we can uh, define these up just a little bit more because your girl's eyebrows need it. Okay, go ahead and twist that up. Um, okay, so that's what it looks like. And then just have a spoolie on the end. We're just going to go ahead and just kind of throw a little bit of flicks in there. See if we can't get this to look a little bit more um, put together. Now, the thicket on its own is really good, but, like, to fill in my brows, like, I think this is, like, perfect. All right, so now the brows are a little bit more filled in, a little bit more defined, um, how I originally wanted them. Although that thicket, though, is so good, it literally, like, my brows feel like they are stuck down. Because I can feel the little bit of, like, crustiness, that's weird, to, like, say, kind of like a gel, like how my brows are, like, trying to weave through them with this. But it, they still look good. And this just enhanced it and made it better. Love that. Love you, Patrick Star, for, you know, making this product. It's so good. Loving it so, so much. Um, also, did you guys see how Patrick Star did a collaboration with Disney? How iconic was that? Love that for a brand. You know, that's always been his dream to do so as well. So, good for him. All right, moving on to the next item. It looks like we have some type of liquid eyeliner. This is by Les Beauties, a felt tip precise uh, point eyeliner. This felt tip liquid eyeliner is perfect for creating any type you desire. It's $20. Um, it's a felt tip eyeliner. I have plenty of these in my collection, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the giveaway 
because I know I have plenty already and I don't need another one. All right, the last item on here for us is going to be the iconic London Desk to Dance Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like I've gotten iconic London palettes before, but I always give them away to you guys. Just because I have so many eyeshadow palettes, it's ridiculous. So we're going to open this one up. Um, you say stunning. Um, first off, look at this bottom shade. And then the other one that's kind of like the same. Those look really, really fun. They're like two-toned. Um, it's Manifest and Money Plant. Money Plant's down at the bottom. And then like Manifest is like this one right here. This No, wait. This one right here. Can you guys see what I'm talking about? Like the two tones that are in them. Those look so fun and so pretty. But I feel like I have shades like this already in my collection besides those two. Um, there's a few different mattes in here. So it looks like a really, really good palette. But again, I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do I, did I ever save any Iconic London palettes? Or have I actually really have them, given them all away? Oh no, I do have another one. There's one that I saved from last time. I swear I thought I gave this away last time. Slide this bad boy open, because I don't think I ever touched it or used it either. So, um, there's this one. This is Iconic London palette. Uh, this one's like more from the summer, because it has like mimosa, pool party, um, all these other ones. But you know what? The other one seems more my vibe. So I'm going to swap out that palette for this iconic London palette. And this is the Sunset to Sunrise. See, I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. Yeah, so this one seems, the other one seems more my vibe than this one does. So this eyeshadow palette right here, this iconic London one will be going into the giveaway. And again, these are valued at $62. They're actually really good um, for the price that they have. I will let you know though, the first ingredient right off the bat is mica. For some of you guys are kind of conscious about like ingredients and products. Um, it's the same thing on the ingredients on this one for the shimmers is mica. And then the other one is synthetic flora I don't even freaking know. But and then the second one is mica. So, and then this is Dust to Dance. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one, and then this one will be going to the giveaway. And I'm putting it right back in the bubbler, just so that it will um, stay, you know, packaged very well, so it gets to a good home and good enough time. So let me go ahead and put up the value of this price of this bag or box really quickly, just to see if we actually got our money's worth. You're supposed to get over $175. So I'm pretty sure we got that value really, really quickly. But so 62 plus 22 plus 19 plus 36 plus 26 plus 20 dollars. A total value of 185 dollars. So a little 10 dollars over. It's the iconic London palette that really gave us the full value of this box right off the bat. But just in general, I think the one size and the Patrick and the Patrick Ta, those two together. I would have been happy with just in general, even like the NARS. So like like I said, I saw the sneak peeks to these boxes and I was like so shook because <laughs> your girl forgot to, you know, choose her stuff for this past month. <gasps> and I'm pretty sure the Ipsy one just went live maybe in like today or yesterday. And I don't even know if I've even chosen my products for Ipsy yet. And I always forget about the reminder for that too. So that's great. Um, but yeah, so that was the price of that bag. So that is the first box. All right, we're moving on to the big kahuna herself, which is the Lux box. Now this one, I know originally was $50. I'm pretty sure this one's like at 60 now, which is crazy. So like I said, I think box the BoxyCharm base box, I think it's almost $30 now with taxes. I'm pretty sure that the premium box is almost about, it used to be like, $35 and I'm pretty sure it's almost at like 40 now and then this one that used to be 50 I'm pretty sure it was almost at like $60 now so opening this girl up this is the boxy Lux. it doesn't say boxy Lux on the inside normally it does but you can tell by the huge card because you get one two three four five six seven eight eight products in here so right off the bat I'm staring at this box like can you guys see how full this box is like what what is this um i don't even know where to start okay starting off with this one miss queen verb herself um you guys haven't seen her on tiktok but also she's from that band called carmen carmen karma something like that from a long time ago 
I forget how the song. I've been waiting all day for you to call me baby. If you want to come and get it. Mm -mm -mm. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? That song? Anyways, this was her. She was also the girl that could rap that Buster Rhymes part super duper fast. And they kind of blew up and then they actually signed a recording contract. Anyways, she went solo, dolo. And her actual like music now these days is so good. Gucci is one of my favorite songs along with, um, oh my god, she literally talks about BoxyCharm because her makeup's literally in BoxyCharm. And the other day I was trying to look it up. To see what that song was because literally if I would I would try try and put it in here but I can't without getting copyrighted even though I'm not even like monetized anyways who freaking cares um but hold on let me find it really quickly Queen Verb and it is her other song I really like is called Set Sade in the 90s um Abracadabra Gucci is a really good one um what of hers? I gotta look in my library first, cause I know I downloaded this fucking song. Um, where are you at, girl? You're giving like I'm wasting. I'm not wasting time, but at the same time, like I want to push her music. She's so good. She's so good. She's the only cue that's in here. Okay, it is. Who is she? So hold on. Okay, that's all the way they can play. Anyways, it's called Who Is She? And it's such a good freaking song. Her music's so good. Again, if you guys haven't looked at it before, it is Q-V-E-E-N and then Verb. Um, you'll find her really quickly. Once you type her into iTunes or Spotify or even on TikTok, you'll find her right away. Um, but anyways, going on without my... Mm, on a soapbox there for a second. This is Queen Studio. This is Partner in Crime's Lip Duo. Lip Duo. It is $18. <gasps> Oops, I ripped it right away. Um, it does show you what the shades are at the bottom. Partner in Crime Lip Duo, um, SOS, and in Spray Tan. So I don't really have any, many of her products. I think I saved her eyeliner last time, and I'm going to go ahead and keep this one because I'm a big fan of her, and from the two products I have tried, um, I actually really, really like them. And also, I just decluttered my whole entire like lip liner collection. So, I might need to fill that back up again just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so that is staying with me. Um, again, that is $18. Next product in here is going to be a Beauty Bio Brighter Bright Eyes Deep Puffing Brightening Eye Gels. So, they're just typical little eye gels that go underneath your eye. It says 97% felt under eye puffiness was instantly reduced. Gives you some pictures underneath here. I don't think I need any right now. I barely even use the ones that I have. And I literally have a stack of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight of them. Um, I'm unsure if I need more right now at the moment. I mean, I really need to get you into doing them again at nighttime with my skincare routine. So we're gonna put those off to the side. We'll think about it. Then next we've got Lawless in here. This is the Lawless Beauty One and Done Long Wear Volumizing Mascara. This is $25. Um, I'm definitely going to go ahead and keep this one because the last mascara I kept was a freaking dud. It was like by Complex Culture. I'm telling you right now, I already went into the trash bin. I tried it out two days in a row. Hated it. Hated it. So this one seems a lot better. And the wand kind of reminds me of the wand that I really liked from the Benefit. Um, it's real mascara so I can only imagine hopefully that this does what it's supposed to do um it has elastom what is elastomore brush gentle grips and combs through lashes instantly volumizes elongates has a spherical shaped tip offers added lash styling for separation so we're definitely gonna go ahead and keep that one but can go over there then next we have the LYS um, Think Bright Glow Hydrating Serum with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Can you see the bougie packaging? It's glass. This looks so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so we're keeping that. That is $28. Um, again, I love serums so much. Like, I literally go through serums so quickly because I use them morning and night. So your girl just consistently keeps using them. Um, obviously, 
your girl has a nighttime, a morning skincare routine, a nighttime skincare routine, and I just love skincare and moisturizing my face. Just because I have a little bit of texture, but like over the years, since, well, I used to have a lot of texture, honestly. I used to have really bad acne when I was younger, and then as I became an adult, kind of figured out my like hormonal balance when I went on um, birth control because I had really a bad hormonal balance. And then now that I became an adult, I really don't need it anymore. I came off of birth control and I don't have barely, rarely any breakouts. Um, the only time I ever really break out is obviously around my period sometimes, depending if I have a poor diet to where I'm eating like way too much junk food, which I really shouldn't be. For a while, we never used to have junk food in this house. And then for some reason, we just started buying it again. I don't know why, but we did. So we don't have to stop that. Because I have a, a few breakouts that are like scarring. They're going away. Um, but other than that, your girl takes washes her face every single day, takes off her makeup every single night, you know, goes through the whole entire steps. All right, so moving on to the next product in here is a balancing cleanser with aloe vera. This is by the brand called Alf Alpha H. So I'm, I'm assuming this has AHAs in it based by the labeling. So creamy multitasking cleanser made with luxurious vitamin E aloe vera. The gentle non-stripping formula corrects the skin's natural pH balance preparing skin for optimized ingredient absorption. That's cool. So it's completely sealed. I just started two new cleansers. One by the Elemis one, which is the clay one that's in my, um, oh my god, which is in my shower. Then the other one is the Saturday Skin Cleanser. The Saturday Skin Cleanser kind of reminds me of like Noxzema, if you guys remember that. Like the way that your face feels after it feels like it's really stripped. Um, and then the other one is the clay one. I'm indifferent about both of them. So we're going to go ahead and keep this one in case, because I just started using them not that long ago. And if me and a cleanser don't agree, then I'm moving on to the next one. So we're glad to go ahead and keep that. That is $36 for that one. Then next we have a Make Serum Balm. This is in the shade Pink Crisis. I've never really heard of the brand called Make. Have you guys? Um, Make says it's new to BoxyCharm, just like how the Beauty Bio was new to BoxyCharm. I think those are the only two, one, two new ones that are new to this box. Then we have this right here. It says it is a, like I said, a Serum Balm. This is what it looks like. It's in really cute packaging. And then open it up, and it is this pretty pink shade. I have enough lip products right now at the moment, and I just kept those lip liners. I have enough lip serums and lip balms right now at the moment, um, and lip oils. So I'm either going to go ahead and pass this along to you guys as well. So there is that. And I knew exactly what this was. I was kind of holding it in. Because this is my first Natasha Denona palette. I saw Ally Dawson unbox this. And I was like, I hope I get that. I hope I get it. Please. Praying. Um, and obviously I did get it because it was in the boxy Lux. And A plus for like keeping it um, packaged so it didn't break in shipping. Like that's really cool. Um, okay, so opening right up. This is the Zendo palette by Natasha Nona. Now this is one of the smaller palettes. It's not one of the big ones. Because the big ones cost $128, I think. And the smaller ones cost $69. Which still, at the same time, I'm still happy for this. Like, $69 or not, this literally makes the whole entire box. Because if you were to buy this at Sephora, again, $69. And the box itself was $60. So we already made back our money based on, like, all the different products we already got in this anyways. Um, but seriously, how gorgeous is this palette? Like, I cannot, cannot. This Yama, like, right there. Like, can you see that shade? I don't know. I have to swatch it. I don't, I just... So that's what it looks like. It has like a shift of like green and like a brassy pinky tone. I don't even know. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see the shift on my hand and on camera, but that one is so pretty. And this other one that's drawing my eyes is called Breathe. It's like this pistachio type of like green. Although it is matte, it still is really, really pretty. So I'm excited for that. Okay, perfect, perfect. Love that. If you guys hear a high squeak in the background, it's my lovely, new, beautiful dog. I think my fiance is playing with her, which is why she's barking, or she's barking because she can't get into my room. 
Um, but other than that, that's why she's barking. And if you guys didn't see her, I'll put her picture right up here for you guys. Um, I did go ahead and change Morpheus's Instagram to her name instead. So if you go to look him up, it's actually Xena Morpheus or Xena Shank now. So I'll be posting her pictures on there. It does still recognize him. RIP, my beautiful little boy. Um, but yes, he did pass away a few weeks ago and literally we just couldn't go on without having a dog in this house so we rescued her and she's a one-year-old Belgian Malanese German Shepherd mix um, and she is full full of energy um, so yeah there is that then the last thing down here is a little bit different um, I don't even know what this is it says it's a Henny and Lev Daniel Danielle tote bag who doesn't need everyday tote Look no further. Easy night transition fits small laptops, phones, other essentials. Do not hesitate to take this tote to drinks right after work. Handcrafted with gorgeous PU. I don't know what that means, and I don't know if I want to open it at all. Like, I don't want to ruin the packaging. So, um, wipe off my fingers. And then open this up so it is in a really cute... Okay, look! It's an actually, it's a little leather tote. How cute is that? Or pleather? Pleather or leather? Is this, what is it like? I mean, I can't tell. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Um, it just says made with gorgeous PU, so I don't know what that means. Um, if I do figure it out, I'll put it on the screen for you guys. It doesn't have any pockets, it's just a just a regular like tote and I don't want to take it out of the packaging in case I can't fit it back in um, but I definitely know I probably won't use this so I'm definitely going to go ahead and put this into the giveaway and give this away to one of you guys so that's what we will gladly go ahead and do all right so without further ado that was the end of unboxing those items let's go ahead and jump into the giveaway so you guys can see what you guys are getting for the month of September um, really quickly I think somewhere in that video when I was going too fast I realized I forgot to tell you guys what the price of the tote bag is and looked it up. It is made from, um, it is made from real leather that has a polyurethane covering on it. Um, it's like scrapped leather, I guess that's what it means. It's like refurbished leather. Anyways, so that's what it means for making it from, uh, PU, which is what I looked up. And that bag is $129.99, basically $130 which is crazy. And then I also forgot to tell you guys what the value of this whole entire uh, box was as well for Boxy Lux. It came out to be with, because of the leather bag, came out to be a total of $359.99. So basically $360, which is crazy for this box. Like I know we're supposed to get over like $225 or something like that, but we definitely got our money's worth and that bag, I will say, just from the smell of it, kind of, it, did, it literally smelled like leather, which is why I questioned it at the same time, too, and kind of did a little head tilt of, like, um, how what? They really just give us a leather bag in here, and they did, and which I am giving it to you guys. So, again, going into this, in this next part, is the giveaway, which I'm giving you guys a leather bag. Like, what? That's crazy. Um, as much as I would like to keep it for myself, I just don't think I would use it. So again, um, for this giveaway, going into it, showing you guys all the items you guys are going to get in that giveaway, um, it is going to be for US only. Again, first off, again, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You have to leave a comment down below answering whatever question I have in the description box down below as well. And then uh, I definitely think I'm going to leave this one open for at least two weeks. The last ones I'm doing for like one week just to make sure I push them out. But like this one, I really think it deserves about two weeks or so, maybe three weeks. I don't know. Um, but again, just read the description bag, box down below because, again, I'm giving you guys away a real leather bag. Um, Natasha Denona, uh, the iconic London palette. There's so much stuff going in this giveaway. I'm already telling you before you even get into it, so let's cue over to Sandra with the giveaway. <laughs> or cue over to myself with the giveaway. Why am I talking in third person? What am I doing? All right, my battery's about to die, so really quickly rushing through this, you guys are getting the Iconic London palette, which is the Sunset and Sunrise. You guys are getting the Tote, which I just showed you guys, the Make Serum Balm, the Lower East Side Felt Tip Liner, and then the two items that were in here, which were from Ipsy, 
Um, coming right on over, hi, there is a Natasha Denona item in here. This is the Cupid Cheek Duo, so that's really cool. And then there's also going to be this lip balm. So the Iconic London and the Natasha Nona products right off the bat are so good. Um, the other stuff just kind of falls in line with it. So again, that is the end of this video. I do apologize. Again, this is for US only. Again, I appreciate it so, so much though for being a part of my channel. We recently just hit 680 subscribers. Again, we're getting so close to 700. So make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel so when we hit 700 subscribers, we can definitely do a whole, a whole other giveaway for that one. And also make sure that we can do one for international as well. So again, I love you guys so, so much. You know the gist. If you like videos like this, this video a big thumbs up. Don't go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl Cindy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!